Face and Beard, welcome to a Thursday stream. Um, I don't know why you guys don't see the game, but I'm actually really loving this music right now. There he goes. Oh, I love this music. Okay, so a couple things. All right, more than a couple things. Hold on, let me let me get them cookies up. What's going on, Gups? Friend. How's it going, my friend? You want some cookies? You want some cookies? You take it for them cookies. All right, my friends. Let me let me press preface some things here. Yesterday, we beat Spooky's House of Jump Scares, and then uh, I was gonna start up Curse of Blackwater, but since it's the end of stream week, I didn't want to start a new game and then leave on a cliffhanger or whatever and start it up again in four days. You know th th that feels weird. So what I did is I went onto Steam and looked up horror games that were either free or cheap and like beatable within like three to five hours kind of thing so I could like finish it up in one stream and Doki Doki Literature Club kept showing up and I've been under the assumption for the longest time that this is a troll game or it's just a dating sim where a weird bunch of people got together and convinced the community it was a scary game Hello. or a horror game yeah. or any of these things, right? How's it going, Sarah? Welcome, welcome. Um, and so I've always gone about that. I've been asked to play it multiple times. I've had a lot of people say they want to see me play it. And I'm just like, I don't play dating sims, says the guy that just beat the KFC dating sim. But that's different. That's different. That's all. That's somewhere else. Anyway, um, I did talk to a friend today who I trust their opinion when uh, <laughs> I talked to a couple people. One of them I talked to, he's, he trolls me enough as it is, so I don't believe him fully, even though he said he's like, yeah, it has some horror elements. But I'm like, mm, you might just be part of the club just as, at the end of the game. It says, like, tell everyone it's a horror game kind of thing. But... A friend of mine, Birch, she, I don't know if she's played it, but I know she, say, she said she's seen people play it. And she says, yes, it definitely has some horror elements. So, I was like, all right, fine, we'll freaking play it, whatever. And also, I was looking for another ease into Screamtober game, because next week we're getting into some scary meaty stuff for the rest of the month, right? So, we're going to play some adorable anime dating game thing. All right, there's four girls here. Oh, hold on a minute. Cute anime girls galore. Yes, indeed. I'm doing well, Gups. Thanks for asking. How you doing, my friend? Five days to your next sub. Sweet. Wait. You've had three months, right? Yes, I sent you out a thing. So you should be good on that. But thank you so much for the continued support, my dude. Also, in the sub perks. Excuse me. And the sub hurts slot command I have, I, I, I came up with a couple more emotes. So the next emote slot, here's my idea. Every time we unlock an emote slot, I'm going to put it up to chat to decide which of the emotes get unlocked kind of thing. Um, they're not listed in any order. They're just listed as in these are the emotes that I currently have. Um, and like ones that I have will be available in ready for unlocking. So I'll just let chat decide what they want. So that sounds for me. So the next one that unlocks, um, we can switch up what we currently have now too, because I think I have Vey Rage and Vey Confused as uh, tier two and three. So uh, we can switch those up next time we unlock one. So that'll happen. <laughs> Look at them doggo emotes. You said we're making the sub badge for this month. Your stream, your scream logo. Oh no no here I'll show you. Um, that. That's what I have. <laughs> I changed the logo a little bit just Gravity so it has a little does more has than a little screen tober. Go away, weird sounding thing. Encoding overloaded. Don't you tell me encoding all over. That's a fat lie. Also, my uh, internet speeds are jumping all over the place. Hopefully they settle down here in a minute. But I've never played this game. I have not seen anything on it. I thought it was just a dating sim, so I have ze had zero interest to check it out. Uh, but let's go ahead and check it out. Enter your name. Uh, let's go with what we did for KFC. We're Big Papa. We're Big Papa. Oh, I can't do space. All right, I'm Big Papa. Everyone call me Big Papa. Hey. History, auto, save, load, settings. 
Oh, I love the music. Hey, Mipo, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Two days in a row. Love when you guys pop in. I like the music so far. All right. Hey, I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. How do I know she's annoying? That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. That's sad. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I, I would get tired of waiting up. Hi, Hippo. What are you doing? You need intention? I think you trolled. This doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't look scary at all, right? Also, what's that? Mipa! What the fuck, bitties? Also, um, there are bitty sound effects you guys can use uh, that are scary sounds. Feel free to use those too, so if you want some additional use of those bitties. I think there's a couple that are five bits and stuff. So, feel free to use those, my friends. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the bits. The doggies appreciate it too. Okay, but if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ah, she's already got the anime eyes. Ha! Ha! I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Neat. Uh, you say like you were thinking about ignoring me. Yeah, I guess I'm kind of a dick. That's me, Big Papa! Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Man, I'm a dick! She's cute! Look at... In her bow tie? She's adorable. Fine, fine. She looks all proper? With her jacket? Oh yeah, Japan, they have, um, dress code. Is that what that's called? Where you go to a school and you have to all dress the same way? But you did wait for me after all. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you don't want to. Or if you want to. Or even if you want to. I can't read. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. I do think I was trolled. This is too bouncy and adorable. By the way, Big Papa. Have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh yeah, that's a big thing in Japan too. Everyone joined clubs. A club? I told you already. I'm not really- Oh wait, that's me. I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I should back up so I can- <clears throat> Can you guys still see me? Because I want to be able to like... Read and get the- I... No, it's too far away. I want to read... <clears throat> and instead of just looking down at the text all the time, I want to see the art. Because the art's actually really nice. Uniform, thank you. There you go. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations out where I was dismissively go along with whatever she was going on about. So you already like to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average <laughs> while spending my free time on games and anime. Hell yeah. This guy is legit me. I'm totally down just gaming out. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Nah. Social skills are overrated. Oh, jeez. That got me. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Oh, wait. Was I saying that? Your happiness is really important to me? Whatever. I, the name changed here. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What's a neat? What's a neat? Does anyone know what that means? You trust me, Mari. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Oh, she looks all sad and worried. All right, all right. I'll look, if, I'll look at a few cubs, <laughs> clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! She's adorable. 
Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? She's got good energy. Don't know what I'm doing. Sound lights are disabled, by the way. Think maybe the game froze? Shouldn't. Hold on a minute. Holy crap. Yeah, the game is different in OBS. Whoa! WTF, mate. Let me see if that'll do it. There. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. That's so weird. I don't know why I did that. It seems fixed now, but let me know if it happens again. Um, more than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Oh, she have, does she have anxiety? The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blanking at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Anime club sounds fun. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm, not, I'm the only one left in the classroom. Alright, I keep checking to make sure it keeps updating. You can't do the sound alert. Uh, which sound alert? And is it saying anything for you? Hold on a minute. Let me, uh, diagnose this real quick. You have to tell me which one uh, you're trying to use. Oh, I can't pause my stuff. All right, sound alert. Your browser source is offline. Oh. Really? What happened to that? Um. Let me update this real quick. Looks like, oh, the key changed out from under me. Okay, it's working now. I scared myself by testing the sound alert. That's fun. Woo! Oh, that scared me, stupid test. Why was it so stinking loud? Anyways, magic hands. We're back to the game. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Aren't you kind? Honestly, you're even worse than, it, than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... You know what? Well, that you'd come to my club. All right. So you already... Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Come on, why am I such a douchebag? She's so happy to include you, man. Eh, meanie. So you're his vice president of the literature club. Oh, that would not be a club I'd be good at. Maybe I kind of understand it. I would go, but I'd be like, don't expect me to participate because I'm gonna suck. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 90% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Uh, she has some motivation. Is that a sponge on the chalkboard? Do you, you guys don't see my mouse pointer. But like on the chalkboard, on the right side, there's a yellow thing and it looks like a sponge. Whoa. Oh, duck is me itchies. Why? Ah, uh, gups, dude. Ah, uh, dude, all right. Well, the doggos still get beaties for that, but that was creepy. I did not like that sound coming in. Like, it sounded like someone came up the back of my neck. Take, take it for the beaties. Mama. Where's the hippo? Hippo! Oh, cookie! Mama! All right, we'll save this one for mamas, because... 
There you are. Hi, Tato Brain. Want some cookies? Let's take it for your cookies. You... See, that's what happens when you pig out. You don't get it. You just drop it. Where is it? You gotta find it now. There you go. You just dumb. She just goes blah, 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 and then knocks it out of my hand like a dumb. My heart rate spiked. Dude, that sound was creepy. It literally sounded like someone came up behind me. Hey. What are you doing? Goof nut. Uh, I forgot where we left off, but we were talking to Sayori. Since she was the first one to show interest after all, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hold on a minute. Mom is just digging at the, the ground. Did you not get it? Because you're... Oh, you are a space cadet. Here you go. You dumb. Now Jada thinks that she's not getting one. You're a turd. No, Mama's is just dumb. Don't worry. She didn't get an extra. Um. Okay, I read that. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And... Nat... Natsuki. Natsuki. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Fuck yeah, let's get some cupcakes! <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep- Dude, fucking cupcakes, man! You had me at cupcake. That's all you gotta tell me. You wanna invite me to a kill me party? You just say, but that'll be cake. I'm like, oh well... Guess I'm gonna go get murdered, cause... Cake. Jeez. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's just so cunning as to have planned all of this out. She's probably just smart. I let a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by, stop by for a cupcake, alright? Yay, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Hell yeah. I de dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Different song! Oh wait, this, this is the title song? If the little flute sound comes in, it is. Yeah! This is an adorable song. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I, I glance around the room. Oh, we got a new girl. Uh, she looks very quiet. She doesn't. Look at her hair. You have returned, huh. bitch. With the Happy big six months. Crew. You're always fun to watch. Enjoy Doki Doki. Hey, thank you so much for the, the compliment, Birch. Doggies, get them, get them cookies. Say thank you for the six months. I don't remember what happens in the six months, um, but something does happen. <laughs> so we can either you can either look it up with the sub perks command, and it'll tell you in the docs, and you can just remind me, or I'll look after the stream. But thank you so much for the six months. I greatly appreciate it. I'm glad you're sticking around. Also, my, uh, internets are fluctuating like crazy. So hopefully you guys aren't getting drop frames here. Uh, she looks like she's quiet. Uh, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Also, you have to let me know if the sound is too loud. Sierra always says nice things about you. Oh, we got another one. Crap! Uh... She looks way younger. She doesn't look like she should be in high school. Uh, so we gotta give her a kid's voice. Uh... Seriously? You brought a boy? Is it? Is that too close to Sayori's voice? I don't care. Way to kill the atmosphere! Shit, another one!